thought this was such an important question. Um, so I'm going to sort of recap what I take to be sort of the main points here. So a question about whether the maxim is universalizable from the quiz. And the maxim is, I'm not swearing in order to, I don't want to risk offending someone. So I'm not going to swear right now. I don't want to make anyone upset. And the, the, the question is, well, I want to play, or, you know, I want to play devil's advocate and ask, like, well, what about the opposite? I mean, what if somebody really was offended because I didn't swear? Um, and then, so how is the, the maxim universalizable? I think what's really interesting here, and I think it really drives home this distinction between our intentions and what we aim to bring about, and then what actually happens in the world. Now, when we're thinking about Kant, he wants to imagine that we sort of take our intentions as these sorts of, and he has a very detailed account of what our intentions are. So like we're talking about maxims here. It's like an aim of a specific context. I'm not gonna swear right now because I don't wanna risk offending anyone. And we just assume that it's successful, right? We don't, like it doesn't matter whether it is or not. Like that's the whole point about Kant being a deontologist. You could be really wrong and it would not affect the quality of your maxim at all. This is about the reasons that we have, right? So when we're thinking about tests for universalizability and we sort of like imagine like what would happen if, this is this really hypothetical, like theoretical kind of thing um, where in some sense we just have to like fill in the blanks and then like you, you, you know, you're, you, you're sort of taking this like specific moment, you think, well, I, I'm not going to, like, you know, I'm not going to swear because I don't want to offend someone. And you just kind of imagine what if everyone was sort of acting on that maxim. And it doesn't need to be successful. Like in some cases, some people might get upset because you didn't swear. That's okay. You're not worried about that. You are imagining what would happen in the world if everyone followed that maxim and not whether you like what those imaginings look like, but just whether it's possible, right? Like, is it, does it even make sense to imagine that, like, like people could be operating under, under this, 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 like, reason? And the answer there, I think, is, well, yeah, I mean, you, you could imagine that every, like, nobody swore because they were worried about offending people. There is no inconsistency here. Now, I, I think that it's, it's true, I mean, it's right to point out that there could be circumstances where people might be offended that you didn't swear in a circumstance. They could say, you know, this is really terrible. I feel like you should have put some profanity in there or something to like acknowledge the terribleness. You seem not to quite get it. But that's a part of the consequences of what you did. And this is where like things get kind of tricky, right? Because that's sort of like what happens after you make the choice. So like you aim for something and you have a reason and you're trying to avoid things like this is about his like idea that it's all about intentions and our goodwill and we do the best that we can. But he also recognizes that like, look, people are imperfect and we're not always going to get it right. But for Kant, being a good person is not about getting it right. It is about having good intentions. So it's not about succeeding in not offending anyone in this particular case. It's just about having this will that like is acceptable and it could be a, like it could become this rule that everyone followed without any inconsistencies. So I thought this was such a great question because it did a really good job of highlighting this distinction between the way we think about our reasons and how to kind of extrapolate or kind of universalize those without thinking about the actual practical consequences of what we do. Because sometimes we don't know all of the information, and so I might do something, I might have intended to, you know, not make someone upset, but for whatever reason, maybe there was information that I lacked, or maybe, you know, like, maybe I just messed up. I didn't know what I was doing. But for whatever reason, I did upset this person. It doesn't matter. 
that does not affect the morality of my action if what I was doing was like genuinely intending to not upset someone and that was a rule that technically everyone could follow. It's not about what actually happens in the fallout. 